today I brought um, one of my teapots and I thought we might have some fun painting um, this teapot today. So I'm going to set this to the side and use this as my um, as my reference material. And I also brought um, some other brushes to show you. So I have a couple different um, watercolor things today to use, a couple different pans of watercolor to use. And then I made these, this is using Jane Davenport um, water brushes. I made these ink pens with these, so I might use these later. These are like, you take her ink that comes in a bottle and you drip it in there and then you can add water to it. So I have a bunch of colors of these that I've made. And then I have my water pen again, my water brush, and then I also have my pencil. So I'm gonna first start by sketching it out. teapot and trying to get the shape. Um, it has a spout here that's got kind of a, looks kind of like a triangle. Um, I know you don't have the reference in front of you anymore to look at, it's just off the camera, but um, it has a, it's all going to have to be done with shading, I think. The lid, I'm going to kind of erase that part a little bit and make this a little bit bigger right there, that part a little bit bigger. I'm going to come out at a little bit more of an angle there. There we go. And then make this come down from where I'm looking at it. It kind of cuts off the, kind of from the side and above, kind of an odd angle here to look at it, but kind of make an interesting picture, hopefully. <laughs> um, you know, this is just a sketchbook picture, so you know, we're, just, we're just playing, just trying to have some fun here with the watercolors. Um, doing more racing than I usually do. I'm just going to get, try to sketch this kind of loose out here. than I am at my paper. My eyes go back and forth and back and forth. Kind of busy looking and trying to connect one point to another point when I'm drawing. That's the kind of thing I'm thinking of. Um, I'm also thinking if I'm, if I'm thinking handle here, um, that's when I start messing up. So I really need to be thinking, I'm not really thinking about shading as much, although that sometimes comes into my brain. Especially when I'm drawing something like a handle because it has these, uh, it curves and you can see the underside of the handle right here. It comes out like that and then, so this is all actually the underside of the handle that you would grab onto and then this part would all be shaded. It's kind of weird if you ever look at a handle that closely. And then um, this is the underside of the handle because it kind of curves around, right? And then a little bit less of a base on it there so I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit here and then it goes almost immediately from here it goes almost immediately into that curve for the lid so I'm just gonna draw that real quick like this and you see I'll do my sketches pretty quickly um, it gives me a little bit more time to paint and to focus on painting and I'm not super concerned about it looking just like this teapot in front of me, but I will look back at my teapot again when I'm painting for um, shading and colors and I just kind of want to get the idea of the teapot here. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm not super happy with this, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to erase a little bit and fix that. that again. So I like this part. Um, I need a drop line here, about there. And I think it would help if I didn't have this line here. I think if my line went around like this. You 
to see my dog's nose. <laughs> it just needed to be on camera, apparently. Um, there's the... kind of goes like this. There we go, that's a little bit better. It has a... it doesn't have a super long spout, so I think my brain is trying to draw a long um, spout. And it doesn't have a long spout. It, it has a much shorter spout. The design of it is a much shorter um, and I'm looking at it this angle from this angle where it's the furthest thing from me so it's the smallest thing and I'm still kind of struggling with that um I'm gonna leave it if I sketch this part in a little bit a little bit of my shading that might help I don't always do this much sketching of the pencil while I'm um, doing watercolors, but um, I also do pastels, and this is something I do with my pastels. All right, that's all right. Um, not, not the best thing ever, but so when I'm doing my pastels, I will go through and sketch in some of these places where I would like the shading to be. I don't like how this is too far over, but. So I need a little bit more shading in here, and I'll need some shading in here. Alright, so then I have to decide on a color. So the actual teapot that I have is a gray teapot. Um, I think I might change the color of it to more of a blue color. Um, I'm going to look and see what I've got. So I've got my paint palette here and then I've got my water brush and I didn't mention this yet but you will need a paper towel to clean your brush to clean your water brush and good thing I checked because as soon as I went like this I had a bunch of red which I probably wouldn't have wanted on there so if I use blues on this particular uh, palette I have a couple blues and then this one these are both Jane Davenport um, palettes as well but this one has a couple, I kind of like the colors in this palette for this particular project, so I think I'm going to use the blues and the grays on this one, but I think I'm seeing a lot of lights, sorry I'm going to put that other palette away, so I think I'm seeing a lot of lights that I might go ahead and use, this is kind of bothering me, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger on this side because it looks like it's not coming over quite enough and then it gets too big there too tall all right um all right so i think we're ready now to start our painting